Water is heated up, producing steam. The turbine converts heat energy into kinetic energy, which in the generator is converted into electrical energy. The cooling tower water causes the steam to condense to water, which is returned back to the reactor. Let's have a closer look at the way the power plant operates. The reactor is set into operation by withdrawing the control rods from the core. Train reaction of fission starts and energy is released. The clean water circulating in the reactor is heated up to steam, which is sent under high pressure to the turbine via four steam lines. First, the steam enters the high pressure turbine, where it releases a great part of its energy to the blades of the turbine. Next, the steam is reheated and led to the three low-pressure turbine stages. Here it releases the remaining energy and enters the condenser where it is converted to water. The water in the closed loop is pumped back to the reactor where it is heated up once more. The generator is connected to the steam turbine. Rotating at 3,000 revolutions per minute, the generator converts the turbine's mechanical energy into electrical energy. The electrical power passes through the transformer into the electrical grid. The condenser is cooled by the water from the cooling tower. This cooling circuit is completely separated from the loop between reactor and turbine. The heated cooling water is in turn sent back to the cooling tower, where at the height of 12 meters, it is finally dispersed through a channel and a drip system and trickles down into the cooling tower's basin. The chimney-like design of the cooling tower creates a strong natural draft which cools the water droplets. A cloud of pure vapor rises from the cooling tower. The size of this cloud changes with the weather conditions. found a part of the answer for your question. Mm -hmm. But if you come back here on the water loop, so that I can't the loop.